Okay, everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly, and uh, we're here live at theCUBE at the Tableau customer event, and uh, the hashtag is pound TCC13, so check that out. Uh, I'm at Dave Vellante, he's at Jeff Kelly, at Furrier, my normal co-host John Furrier is uh, in California, crunching data of all things Jeff, so you are the beneficiary of, uh, of John being in California. And we've been talking about visualization, big data. We've even been talking about chess and Socrates <laughs> today, a cube first. Mm -hmm. Sarah Nell is here. She is the global corporate account analyst at Manpower Group. Sarah, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you for having me. I mean, I would think, I mean, the downturn affected everybody almost in a negative way, and I'm sure you guys weren't immune from it, but I would think coming out of the downturn, it could have actually helped your business in the sense that people are looking, you know, we talk about the cloud all the time, you mm -hmm. buy s compute capacity and in increments so you can dial it up or dial it down. People sort of want to do that with human resource management, don't they? They do, and I, admittedly, human resource management actually isn't my forte too much, so, but it did. Uh, you're talking about the downturn and how it could have benefited our business, and it didn't at first. I mean, we were impacted just like every under it, other industry that was out there, but just like we're looking at how business was done before that point in time, when that happened, we had to start thinking about that too. Uh, right. The data is every person that we place in a job. Every single person, there's a point of data, multiple points of data going into that. So you talk about over 400,000 people who are on assignment at a given time right now. Those are so many unique points of data that you could track. So that's the data, the people are the data that's feeding it. Okay, so you were brought in to basically develop a set of metrics around those people. Yes. Um, essentially, things that you would expect from, from any employee, performance metrics, for example, or? Well, the big one when you're talking about people, honestly, is how long are they on assignment, and when they aren't on assignment anymore, why aren't they on assignment? People really focus on end reasons, why they're leaving their job. And especially to in today's climate, that's a huge thing. You want to know what's going on. Why are they going somewhere else? You want to retain those people as much as possible and not lose them. So that's really one of the big focuses of our metrics is how are we keeping these people? How are we retaining them? And when they are leaving, why they're leaving. So how did you get involved? Um, well, I've been with Manpower Group for eight years now. So I've kind of started in a very, uh, unsavory role, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a data person, I wasn't. I was actually uh, your collector. Huh? I was the one calling people for money. You were breaking money. thumbs. I was. <laughs> <laughs> In a nice way, with a smile. So. <laughs> but that was me, and so I just got to know the business, I got to know how the data flowed, and I talked to the people. I talked to our people working out in the field, in the branches, and I just learned the business in and out, and so I started doing reporting for them and it led to analytics when it was formed back in 2010 pretty much, so here I yeah, am. So <laughs> if data is locked inside you know, an Oracle or a Cogno mm -hmm. system, uh, the, was that your corpus of data? How did you get it out? How did you, were there other sources of data that you were utilizing? Pretty or? much, uh, it was all out of that one platform and uh, they had, uh, it, was a, it was a learning curve. I, we weren't an IT team, we weren't. We were people who were trying to meet business needs more right. than anything and drive business decisions. So um, we kind of had to educate IT on what those business decisions were so that they could build solutions to fit mm. what we needed for our immediate demands data-wise. Okay, and I'm sorry to ask so many Columbo questions, but it just helps <laughs> our audience understand. So, okay, so what, you said this is the data we want, just yes. dump it? Here's what we need. <laughs> How can okay. you do this for And us? then what? They gave it to you in a Oh CSV heck no, they fought us to the nail. <laughs> so why do you they need did. that, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. No, they fought us to the nail. Who the heck are you? Yeah. I never heard of you before. Weren't you calling me for money? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> 
Yeah. No, okay, so it was carrot and stick, I'm sure, right? Yes, yeah. yes. And you had top senior management support, which I'm sure was critical. Yes, it was without critical. Because without that, you wouldn't be here right now. No, not at all, <laughs> not at all. No, it, it's been a learning curve for all of us. You know, we've had to play nice together and get to know each other and what we're trying to accomplish, so. So a big part of that was communications. And, yes. And, okay, so so you, you've, you've, you, you were able to get the data, Yes. And, and what, it came, what kind of form did it come in? Was it just a dump to a CSV yep, file? It, honestly, it? it was a big, huge, freaking data dump. Here you go, <laughs> have fun. <Yeah>. Good luck. <laughs> Figure this out, <laughs> yeah, it was enormous. And so. is that when you brought, was that the driver to bring in Tableau? Was like, yes. how are we going to figure this yes. out? And yeah. hey, I hear this, this this platform or tool called Tableau, is that the way it went down? Or? Yeah, and Tableau was the way for us to really take all that mess of data that we were looking at and start translating it. How did you hear about Tableau? Uh, actually from a guy who who no longer works at Manpower. So some, some guy had heard of him and said, check these guys yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you did. Yep. And and now, were you part of that, a big part of that decision process? Was it your decision? I have really been the driver as far as uh, Tableau being used within our organization from our end. Now, were you, prior to that, were you like an Excel jock? I mean? Yes, you, yes. Okay, so you're really comfortable with data. Yes. You, you know, new in Excel inside and out, knew all the functions. Yeah, they call uh, me the Excel nerd. Okay, so, <laughs> so so for most of us, we you know ten we don't even use ten. It's like our brains. We don't use ten percent of our brains. <laughs> we don't use ten percent of Excel. But you were the minority that was using ninety percent of the function, or at least knew how to use it. Yeah, right? there's some happiness when you figure out a formula and it works. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if writing really macros <laughs> and doing that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah, well, um, look at how excited yeah. Sarah just got. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Who gets excited over David stuff Floyer, like that? David Floyer. Or David Floyer. <laughs> Was, if he's out there, he loves that stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so, so you, I, I mean, this is the thing. So, to use Tableau, I mean, we saw the the demo in there, and of course, yeah, like any demo, it made it look so simple. All you do is <laughs> right click, and da 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 da. Wow. Okay, but it's a very powerful platform. Yes, it is. Okay, so you had to go through some kind of training or learning curve. And oh, I would like to tell you that I picked it up just like that. <laughs> you know, just to make myself sound good, but I didn't at all. It took me a bit, and yeah. honestly, were it not for the community that exists for Tableau, I probably wouldn't know half the stuff I do today. So really lean on the community I do, I do, and I have to say, uh, Wisconsin alone is trying to really establish a very strong Tableau community as really? well. Hmm. Yep. We uh, are actually in the middle of two user groups that are newly created, so. Well, I, I think one of the curveballs that people are throwing a lot with data and that the pitfalls they tend to fall into is overcomplicating it. Mm. And I think the big key is <laughs> actually my mantra, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> you know, you want to make it elegant and clean and simple. I mean, there's beauty in it, and I think that's why Tableau does that so well. I mean, especially coming out of the keynote. It's so obvious. Mm -hmm. It's clean, it's simple, it's attractive. You want to look at it, you want to mm -hmm. play with it, you know, and. You know, that's easy to say though, Sarah, but so it's an old saying in the writer's world, right? If I, if I had more time, it would have been shorter. <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about, Jeff's a long time writer. Right? You write something that's 10 pages, and you know, your <laughs> boss wants it to be two pages. So, how do you simplify? How do you keep it simple? Well, uh, you're really, you're translating the data. So if you don't know the data, you can't keep it simple and then you do overcomplicate it. So I think that's the biggest part. Mm. Know your industry, know your data, where it's coming from. Have a relationship with it. Understand the ins and outs, you know? Take, take it out for dinner once in a while. Take a bath with your data. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> buy it a bottle of wine on Valentine's, come on. <laughs> well, it, it, absolutely, I mean, th that we've heard that how many times now today, Dave, for practitioners, keep it simple. You know, don't clutter it up with things you don't need. Uh, you know, make it very simple, elegant. I think was a good word to describe it. And then, and I think about that compared to something like Excel yes. and something like <laughs> the other traditional business intelligence applications, which are the furthest furthest thing from simple and elegant that you could imagine. Um, I wouldn't say that yet because there are many people <laughs> who still use it. <laughs> well, but but when you think about the some of the alternatives, you know, it's very hard to make something simple and elegant in a lot of the more traditional tools. Okay. Um, so does Tableau really, uh, you know, allow you to do that? Um, obviously, that's their. It does. That's what they're trying to get across. I mean, as a practitioner, I'm sure there are some things that you would like to see improved or maybe streamlined. But you know, overall, what is your impression of the of the of the tool? Um, I honestly love it, and I've been using it for so long now that it's actually really hard for me to go back to using Excel <laughs> other than a data source <laughs> or a connector for Tableau, because I'm so used to writing my formulas and calculations mm -hmm. in Tableau, it makes it so easy. They 
make a, it, it pretty much it's a pivot table on steroids, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and they make it so it's intuitive. I know where stuff is. Here's mm -hmm. how I'm going to find it. And the greatest thing that I've actually found for it, when I find something that works, I try to create my data around it then. So it's always going to be the same no matter what. So I can keep coming back, reconnecting it, and pretty much creating templates then, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's been my success in mm -hmm. the whole Tableau product is templates overall. Mm -hmm. So if you know if it works, keep going with it. Back on that. Uh, very Dave. good. <laughs> All right, Sarah, really, really appreciate you coming on theCUBE. Great enthusiasm and uh, you know, you're a data scientist in my book, so, uh, <laughs> you know, so start calling yourself that and you'll get a big raise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come to the Cube, change your name, to the title, and, and good things will happen. So, uh, yes. really appreciate your insights. Uh, excellent case study, so uh, congratulations Great. on all the progress. And Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the event. All right.